Tim Goring here, making luck with Sandler, talking about Sandler rule number 47. Don't paint seagulls in your client's picture, right? So this story came from uh, David Sandler way back when his daughter was off at art school and the assignment was to paint a picture of the beach. And she did the ocean and the, a big old palm tree and the sun. And at the end of the day, the art teacher came by and said, uh, hey, this is really good, Nancy. I really, this is fantastic. But you know, wouldn't it be nice if you balanced out the picture with a seagull? And she proceeded to paint a seagull into Nancy's picture. Well, Nancy got really upset by this. When she got home and it was dinner time and David asked her, hey, what's going on? How did, how did art school go? She was really upset. And she threw across that piece of art with that seagull painted in it. And he said, this is a great picture. I really love the seagull. Boom, her head explodes. Right? <laughs> and the idea here is we oftentimes accidentally share our vision. Now, the beach may, may, not, may not have had a seagull in it from Nancy's perspective. And their perspective, their vision of the future is way more important than yours. So the, the questions, the brushes are kind of your questions. Hand them the brushes. Let them answer. The answers are the seagulls. Let them tell you what would go there. What, what might go nice here to balance out this picture, for example, right? Confirm what they want rather than leading the witness. When you're asking rhetorical questions, they can get the impression that you're pushing something on them and that's not what they're gonna do. So let them outline what they wanna do. Make it a great day.